week's competitors are Breeza and Spud. And now, here's your host who's read Millie's book, Will Schreiner! Thank you. A little extra bark there. Hi, I'm Will Schreiner, and welcome to the show that marks its territory, shall we say. <laughs> Looks like our contestants are ready and waiting over there, so let's get started, shall we? Come on over. Uh, hi there. Hi, Bonnie. All right, here we go. We're going to play the That's My Dog version of the Dog Catcher. Let's have 60 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, go. All right, spot on the left, three's on the right here. The object here is to get five points for each stray puck that they can catch. Go from side to side, hooking them up. Bud is really doing well. Breeza. Breeza, you okay, Breeza? Breeza's got one. Go down there, Breeza. Go on down there, Breeza. Breeza just wants to... You can give him a little shove if you want. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on, Breeza. Come on, baby. Come on, down here. Come on, Breeza. Come on. Down here. Come on. Come on, down here. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Brisa did quite well. All right, let's take a look here. Brisa picked up 35 points. Spud only five. He couldn't get her to go down there, but that's okay. There's plenty of show left. We're going to take a break and play Fat Dominoes right after this. Don't go away. Spud and Brisa. It's time for today's That's My Dog Pup Quiz. What dog breed fought alongside Roman Arena Gladiators? Next to the Roman gladiators were English Bulldogs. Ah. Hi there, and welcome back to That's My Dog. We have one heck of a good competition going on, but now it's time to find out about the real stars of the show, the dogs. Dean, tell us a little about Breeza. Okay, well, Breeza is a seven-year-old Portuguese water dog who likes Brussels sprouts and sardines. Breeza has brought her family. Please welcome the Thomases, Peg, Carissa, and Janet. I've never heard a lot about this, uh, the Portuguese water dog. Is this a rare breed? They're not really rare, but not, not many people know about them. Really. Not many people know about them. Well, <laughs> so they're not rare and I'm an idiot. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> um, but thank you, Carissa. Now, she has kind of a strange diet, right? Yeah. What does she eat? Well, she doesn't like eat it for a regular diet, but she eats Brussels sprouts and sardines. Brussels sprouts and sardines. Anybody else? Brussels sprouts and sardines? <laughs> well, good. Nice to have you on the show. Good luck to you today. All right, now let's find about the, about the little about our competitor over here, the captain of the opposing team. Tell us about Spud, Dino. Okay, well, Spud is a three-year-old Australian shepherd who likes to play keep away and do a terrier thing with a rope. Spud has brought his family with him. Please welcome the Harringtons, Bonnie, Dean, and Andrew. Hi, Bonnie, Dean, and Andrew. Welcome to the show. Now, Spud, I guess you said somebody told me that Spud doesn't listen to you guys. He listens to somebody else. Yeah. He's, we have a five-pound poodle with an attitude, and he doesn't like anybody to know about it, but she bosses him around all day long. Oh, <laughs> so Spud is the uh, victim of poodle abuse, huh? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> all right, let's make our way over here because it is time now. Oh, I know. Before we go, before we go, I forgot what we're going to play. We have an assistant. See, this is a new element to the show. I have been handed a helper. A little bit of a, uh, they said you need a sidekick, you need a helper on the show, Will. So we're going to get you a little friend that can help you out with the show. So, uh, Tiny, Tiny, anybody seen Tiny, Tiny? Tiny? Where are you, Tiny? Tiny? Oh, there you are, Tiny. Come on out here, Tiny. Come on out, Tiny. Come on out and say hello. This is Tiny. And Tiny, oh, I see what Tiny's wearing. Tiny's wearing dominoes, which tells us it's time to play Fat Dominoes. So thank you, Tiny. You can go on back. Tiny, go on back. Oh, I got him trained. I got him trained. All right, Spud. Come on. We'll make our way over here. Right this way. Bonnie, 
we're going to line you up right here because it's Fat Domino's time. This is where Spud gets a chance to knock over as many dominoes as he can. Each domino is worth one point. Okay, so as he knocks over, he has 30 seconds to do that, and you can rack up quite a number of points here. So give me 30 seconds on the clock, please. Spud, you ready over there? All right, ready, set, go. Come on, Spud. Spud. Well done, well done. Spud just picked himself up 25 points. Nicely done. All right. Let's, let's take a look at Brisa. Brisa's ready over here. Yes. All right. Let's see. 30 seconds on the clock, please. Ready, set, go, Carissa. Oh. A big choice. 11, 11 seconds. 11 seconds. There we go. You got four seconds. You got four. All right, Carissa. Nice job. You did pretty good. You only left three standing. Uh, so you pick up. Oh, well, you got a few of them there. Okay, you picked up 14 points. I guess you knocked some over yourself, did you? Yeah. I didn't see that, but our judges caught it. So you pick up 14 points. It gives you a total of 49 points. Not bad, you're in the lead, but it's trailing with 30. But now it's time to move on to our Hound Highway, which is over this way. Come along, if you will. Today's troubling distractions are, why, it's the shortcut bridge, the water bowl slalom. It's so, you see that little chew toy corner there? That's my favorite area. All kinds of distractions in there for the dogs. Then there's that shortcut bridge if they want to come over that. And the dog food sand trap. Ooh, that's always a big distraction. Also, there's a secret mouse hole mixed in there somewhere. And it all winds up. Why, right here at the finish line. That's where it winds up, where Bonnie is literally in the doghouse, aren't you, Bonnie? <laughs> Have you ever been in the doghouse before? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, so she feels comfortable. But here's what happens. Each dog that makes it through the maze will earn 20 points. If both dogs make it through, whichever one does it faster gets a 10-point bonus. So let's see. Spud is over there. Dean and Andrew, are you ready? We're ready. Okay, Bonnie, you ready here at the finish line? Ready. Give me 60 seconds on the clock, please. Ready, set, go. Bye. Doing a good job. He's covering some territory there. That's the way an Australian Shepherd is. They're good at hurting dogs. Here's the dog food sand trap. Let's see what happens. Not interested. Not hungry. He didn't come to eat, ladies and gentlemen. He came to play. Oh, but he's playing the wrong way. There he is over the chew toy area. Oh, looking around, a little confused. 16 seconds. Spud! Spud! Over here, Spud! There's a doggy door there, a shortcut, but he's not using it. He's just kind of wandering. Three, two, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Spud got, he was doing good when he came out like a, like a bat, and he uh, just got lost there. But nonetheless, he picked up zero points. So he still has 30, not, no problem. But it's Brazie's, Brazie's turn. Let's see if Peg and Janet are ready there at the start. We're, We're ready, ready, Will. Okay. <laughs> Carissa is ready here at the finish line. If I could get 60 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, go. Riza is off. Robert. Out of the starting gate and back to the starting gate. Baby. All right, come on over. Come on over. Here we go. There we go. 
Well, Breeze didn't quite make it through the, uh, the maze the way it was designed. She went over the top, so we can't award any points there, Carissa. I'm sorry, but let's check our scores at the end of the third event. It looks like Breeze is still in the re lead with 49 points, Spud trailing with 30. Coming up next, our doggy bowl, where our canines compete in some of the craziest sports ever. We'll be back right after these messages. crowd out here today beautiful weather tiny and i have seats right on the 50 yard line we can't beat that can we now we got to get started with the hound hurdles this is a test of skill and agility right down here on the field you'll see hurdles of varying heights and they're also worth varying points one two three four five and six all right spud's job is to jump over as many of these hurdles as he can in 30 seconds rack up as many points as you can you keep going until you knock them down all right you all set on this all right let me have uh 30 seconds on the clock please Ready, set, go, Spud. You can go around. There we go. 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 We're down to the low pointers. Bud, nicely done. He did a little bit of damage here. The six to five, the four and the one went down, but that doesn't matter because Spud picked up 30 points. Nicely done. All right. That is the end of the first half here at the Doggy Bowl while we set up for the second half. Dean, how about a halftime update? Well, we've got a good game going after four and a half events. Frieza has 49 points, Spud with 60, but there's still lots to go. Okay, well, back to you. All right, Dean, thanks. Now it's Frieza's turn. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock. Carissa, are you all set? All right. Frieza's yep. ready. Ready, set, jump away. There we go. Six. Right off the bat. Take an easy one. Nicely done, Carissa. Nicely done, Brisa. Let's see. Brisa picked up 37 points. All right, that gives Brisa a total of 86 points, and Spud has 60 points. That concludes the doggy ball. We're going to take a break. When we come back, the ever-important 100-point doggy decathlon. Right back before you can fetch a stick. So that's my dog. Well, look at that score. Spud is trailing with 60, and Brees is in the lead with 86. But anything can happen. Because we are down to the deciding event of today's show, the Doggy Decathlon. There are 10 obstacles, this being number 10, 9876, all the way back. They each are worth 10 points. Get them all, you get 100 points. That's how it works. Looks pretty easy. Hey, Spud, you all set over there? Ready. All right. 100 seconds on the clock, if I could. I would. There it is. Ready, set. Go! Spud is off. Bonnie is working Spud through the tunnel for a second 10. Got to get him all the way through. He's going to come out the other side. There he goes. And out the other side, over the hurdles. There. Get the pup tent. And out of the pup tent. Around the fire hydrant for us. Doing nicely there. Up and down, now Pookie. He goes over 
the water fountain. Plenty of time. You got plenty of time. There we go. And through. All right, Spud. Spud did it. Nice going, Bonnie. Nice going. You picked up 100 points there. Perfect score. 160 points. Well, brisa has got her work cut out for you over there. Brisa, are you ready? Yep. Brisa looks ready. Let's have 100 seconds on the clock. You need eight of these to win. Ready, set, go. There's one. There's two. down the ramp, ladies and gentlemen. I think that's done it for her. I think that's done it for Brisa. Brisa's over the fountain and through the big O. Brisa did them all. Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like Brisa won. Congratulations, Dean. Tell them what they've won. Congratulations, Brisa. Won't you be excited, winner? That's my dog truck pulls in your driveway with a year's supply of kettles and beds. Kibbles and Bits Lean and Kibbles and Bits Jerky from Cantillation. Great tasting, crunchy, chewy dog food that has dogs everywhere saying, I'm going to get me some Kibbles and Bits. Plus, you and your dog will love your new refrigerator. Gibson's 21 cubic foot plus frost clear refrigerator freezer, which features designed make food storage easier and more convenient than ever before from Gibson. And outdoor products, quality sports and travel gear made in the USA, great for travel and recreational use. Life is a journey. We'll help you pack from outdoor products. Plus, each of your family members will receive our Kibbles and Bits watch for good doggies. Back to you, Will. All righty. Well, Dean, Bonnie, Andrew, here we are at the moment of truth. Where do you think Spud lost the competition today? First, first thing. The first thing? You feel that's where he fell apart? Well, you know what? I'm going to let you keep the shirt anyway. Because <laughs> we have no other Andrew on, so you get to keep it. But you did a great job. Thanks for coming and playing along. You folks did great. How about a hand for the Thomases? Breeza. Breeza did... You know that Breeza... I think this is the fastest time we've seen all season. She did it in, in about uh, with 60 seconds left. So what do you attribute that to? You put a little coffee in her bowl before the show? She did great. Congratulations. Now it's time for that thing they have in the Olympics, the trusted, the prestigious awards, the medals, the, the, the prizes. This is where it all happens. So I need my assistant to assist me. Tiny, Tiny, come on, Tiny. Tiny, come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, Tiny. Come on. Tiny, come on out. Come on out. Sit down, Tiny. Sit. Tiny, sit. boy. Okay, now we're going to take the awards. This is where they get nice and slobbery, right here. This is the Silver Award for Spuds. Hey. And I'll have the Gold Award in just a second. If, if you could just hand me the Gold Award, that's okay. Oh, that Tiny, he loves... Here it is, the prestigious gold award for Brisa. There we go. Turn around, Brisa. Turn around so we can see you. There we go. There's Brisa with the award. Nicely done, the gold. Thank you all very much. You did a great job. Good job. We thank you all for being here. You were good sports. It was a great show. We'll see you next time. There's nothing left to say, but that's my dog. Bye-bye, everybody. Our silver medal winners will receive Generation Pepperoni, the jerky snacks that dogs love in beef, bacon, beef and cheese, liver flavors. And remember, Pooch will do anything for a pepperoni. And you'll receive Pet Elite's fine quality carrier, the pet limo for the ultimate in protection and owner convenience, safety gate, removable casters, and airline approved Pet Elite by Stylet. And Keystone's new camera package, the 990 AF Super Compact Auto Focus 35mm camera and the LeClick 110 automatic pocket camera from Keystone Camera Corporation.
and both families receive Mr. Crystal's Australian Shampoos for Pets. All natural, non-toxic, luxury shampoo with organic peel oil for killing fleas. Medicated shampoo for budding, dry, flaky, problem skin. Mr. Crystal's available at Target stores. This is Dean Muccio speaking for That's My Dog!